Androgen receptors are one of those things where like lifting really heavy weights, power lifters, um, for example, power lifters seem to have a high, high density of androgen receptors in like their upper backs and traps. Now, why? Because a lot of times their upper backs and traps are so abused. When you're deadlifting, you're working your traps and your upper back. When you're squatting heavy, you're working your traps and your upper back, you know, because they're having to hold that, the weight. So I almost tend to make me think that like holding, lifting heavier loads, but also like um, a higher volume and kind of abusing a muscle um, uh, like the traps are in power lifters seems to be really good for upregulating androgen receptors. So really guys, I think it's a matter of years of training. The longer you're training, the heavier you're training, the more vol high volume you're training, the more you're gonna have androgen receptors. What I will say this, there may be evidence that interaction of testosterone with the tissue can upregulate androgen receptors. So for example, if you're doing arms alone, um, you're probably not gonna have like a lot of androgen receptors in your biceps. Um, but if you look at traps, your upper traps or whatever, you're doing squats, you're gonna have high amounts of testosterone, they're being worked by holding the bar, the interaction of testosterone with your traps is gonna make them grow and make you have high androgen receptors. I also wanna make a real point about this. There's some really, I would say poorly done research that, um, that was done, was basically looking at how, th they're, they're saying hormones don't impact muscle growth. Now, I'm sorry, that's garbage, okay? And I'm gonna show you, tell you why I, th I think this is garbage. All right, they take untrained people and they look at the acute hormone response that you get to training and they go, oh, we don't see a relationship between short-term increases in testosterone and muscle growth, okay? Um, so then, to further prove their point, to further prove their point, they do a study and they take women and they take men, un both untrained. They, they look at their testosterone response to train. Now, uh, no surprise here, shocker, the guys had higher testosterone responses than the women. They then looked at muscle protein synthesis and there were no differences in muscle protein synthesis between the untrained men and women. They concluded that hormones have no impact on muscle growth or protein synthesis. That means that I can conclude to you that sex or sex has no impact, okay? Whether you're a male or female, has no impact on muscle growth, okay? Sorry, hello McFly, right? That doesn't work. I am sorry. Men gain more muscle than women. It's just a fact. There's tons of studies on this and you don't even have to read studies. Before research was even done, people could have told you that. So then what's the discrepancy here, right? What is, it, uh, what is going on here? They're both untrained, okay? The men don't have high amounts of androgen receptors because they're untrained. So their ability to utilize testosterone is low. That's why there's an adaptation that as we train a long time, we upregulate androgen receptors. So these bogus studies in untrained people or males versus females, that study there absolutely made me conclude the false nature of just how bad this research was and the conclusions that we came to.